Well, I, I have to say that you, you're not giving Glenn Close a fair crack of the whip here because, you know, she is considered this. This has been part of yeah. her persona yeah, and yeah, life. Yeah. As you say, she has, I think, siblings uh, or one sibling who has, has had a mental illness and she genuinely feels that this is a source of regret. You know, with a, a, a star-studded career like mm. she's had, to have this one regret, she's obviously sincere about it. No, uh, no one's questioning her sincerity, but... It's you your know. sincerity I'm questioning. <laughs> well, that's always up for debate. <laughs> but do you not concede that, you know, there's not going to be much room for storytelling if we constantly question if a character acts wrongly, if that's a mental health issue or not. Like, that's going to stemmy the ability to tell a story. That's all I'm questioning. And I should say Hollywood in general has become a lot better with this. There was a movie a couple of years ago, Silver Lining Playbooks, Yep. Brenda might yep. know, which yep. is a brilliant and a proper examination of, you know, a leading man, Bradley Cooper, suffering from mental health issues. So Hollywood and the media in general, I think, are getting better.